geil. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome in. We have a special March Games Thursday edition of Paper Bird, a thousand year door. A game Kitty actually. Oh man, this is loud in my ears. A game uh, Kitty actually requested months ago, but I was gonna do anyway. It just happened that it was good that it came out this one. So, hey, Kitty, hey, uh, look up. Uh, or look up, I should say. I'm speaking too fast because of excitement. Welcome in, Ryan, and. Yeah. I know that I haven't been streaming most of the week because of a personal issue, but the issue more self is an ongoing thing. I won't get into it much. Anyway, hopefully everyone's doing well. We're about to click in live. I also waited the stream to start before using the walk-on. Yeah, he's probably better off waiting about two to three minutes. There, kitty, because we know blurp is... It don't start right away, I find. So, anyway, getting to my little, other little point. Uh, this is a Much Games Hall of Fame tournament winner back in 2017. I had to look this up to make sure. Even though I have all their, their paperwork on it myself. And, yeah, blurp can be a pain in the ass sometimes. Tell me about it. So... Believe it or not, mm, this probably should be my uh, screen for using this. Hey, welcome here, Red. Roar. We have Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door remake. Virtually, it's a remake. All the graphics got up. Mm, Twenty years seems like a long time between the two of them. So, how's everything sound? I'd like to know that one first and foremost. The only other thing I can mention here on this one is, yes, I'm recording this or streaming this right now. This will go live, I'm going to say, I'd like to say this weekend, the first episode for, for this project. So, so I'm playing Princess Peach Showtime. Oh, nice. That's a game I know some people got frustrated with. But hopefully you don't. But, yeah, I'm going to start this off. I know everyone's probably streaming this off. Left, right, and center. But on Saturday, I want to say this is actually going to be going up on the Much Games God's YouTube channel. This being the 23rd of May. The release date. I believe this game came out 20 years ago. Yeah, as you can tell, no, I didn't start any files. But we will use this one. So, let's get started. This is going to be fun. I'm actually excited to do this. I don't know why people hate the game. I would say it's probably because of certain things. Ahem, <clears throat> today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. As I open the book. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, the big bustling town thrived. This is game, I missed it too. And it is said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if their very world had to come to a violent end. But in a single night, or and in a single night, the town sank to the depths of the earth. The end. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into pages of fairy tales. Then clouds came down. And when the town site no longer held a new people gathered and built a spot in a new town. Because I missed what I said earlier. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep on the ground and a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of a fabled treasure of Rogueport. 
Yes. This is where Vorlport begins. It's here of something, a, the tale of a quest for, a legendary, for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Meantime, in, I guess, present day game-wise, Peach goes to... See there. Finally! I, I have a minute without Toastworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday. I want to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Well, that's your own fault for taking Toadsworth with you. With you. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. Well, you don't want the noose. But now that I'm doing it, I don't see this town of blah, blah, blah. oh Missy. Missy. Okay, I'm not reading this fast enough, apparently. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. A chest. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside these? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But. The box has a magical lock on it, and will only open for a pure and noble heart. I see Bragg made an appearance. As you can see, it won't do so much as budge if someone like, uh, as me touches, such as me touches it. You're not pure of heart, you're an evil salesman. Oh, oh! If the box will open for you, you see, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on. Hold it. Okay, she's holding it. I suppose I could try opening it. Oh. Well, that can't be good. Meanwhile... Zelda with a 50-bit cheer. Thank you so much, Zelda. Uh, here, let's give you a shout out. Mail call from Paracarry. Oh, I remember you from the first game a few weeks ago. I am doing wonderful. How's yourself? How is the pregnancy going? Oh, don't forget, Zelda, you do have a walk on as well. Uh, still taking a break from Final Fantasy VI? No, five, sorry. Is it five or six? No, over six, that's right. Wait, is that Paracarry? Yeah, maybe we can Yeah, that's Paracarry. Alright, Ouija. What have we got? So hopefully you're doing well, Zelda. Like I said, the pregnancy, is, I hope, is going extremely wonderful for you and everything. I hope it's a healthy baby. Hey, bro. Check it out. A letter from Princess Peach is arrived for you. Pretty good, relaxing day. A uh, plain portrait of him, so we never put here much soon. Oh, that's fine. Hey, bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. Okay, I'll just walk over here. Oh man, the graphics are actually just in the rock. I know you do. I, I actually manually created one for Kitty as well, so. But he already used his earlier. It's just his three uh, favorite things that he usually starts the streams with. I'll just read it out to you. How's that sound? Sounds like invasion of privacy, Luigi. Oh. You know what? I just realized I forgot to turn on my TV. So I'm even getting double feedback. <laughs> there we go. At least Paracarry stopped dropping a meal. Uh... All the meal, all the time, in between Paper Mary Thousand Year Oh, yeah, for sure. So you have a bit. Yeah, uh, she is. So. <clears throat> now, let's see here. Manise is also having a baby? Oh, that would make you a great aunt. I'm lucky to be an uncle of many, so. 
I got one niece, but mostly nephews. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. So congrats for that one, Red. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. Uh, a treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from old, from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I got a nephew through my eldest half brother. Yeah. How old is your nephew? Congrats on that one too, kitty. <laughs> so I got many of them. I got like one son. About, let me see. My sister has one son who recently turned 18. Uh, then the, most of the rest is on Colette's side. So. Another little boy. Oh. Oh, she here? This is. A, you've been a great aunt for a while then. I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at the road port. That means you must come, Peach. Mm, what do you know? It's true. There's an old weathered ma old map here. In, <clears throat> in here with the letter. Check it out. Huh. Roport seems like it's bigger than just that little area. Mary was like, Whoa, I can't die. Let's sleep in. Yes, I'm having a baby. We'll find out Saturday if I'm ha what I'm having in my gender reveal. Only 13 weeks along. By the way, in case you didn't know, we were playing Paper Mario at a thousand year door. Just in case we all forgot. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. To find out what the gender is, it's not that scary, to be honest. Uh, Colette and I found out on her second ultrasound. Which is funny, because a lot of people thought she was having a girl. She ended up with a boy, so... We are thankful for that. Must be gym day, it is. Uh, excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. I mean, how the pregnancy will go? I think if you have a good pregnancy, it's... It all depends. I, I honestly hope that it actually goes well. The town you've been uh, speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Roadport. All right. Time to wake up, Ariel. You're not Link, you know. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. You know, I bet you at sushi, I'd be able to get there faster. Then again, I don't think sushi can actually go that far. A red, white, and blue boat. Yep, that sounds like a Mushroom King Yomari. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed by a bit of rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I, I did tell you all the sordid tales of a rope what on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting for you here? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm just gonna jump and flip and go the other way. Welcome to Rogueport. Okay. Go on. 
Hit the save block to save all the events you've experienced so far. If you get a game over, or if you start playing the game from the title screen, you can continue from the last point you saved. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to hit it to save. Ow, oi! Welcome to Roadport! Bit of nasty place, eh? You've got guts coming here. Arr! Why is the rum always gone? Eh, uh, you look a bit green, so yeah, are we bitter advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Cause the thing about your life, my life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. I kick one all the time with this garbage can. Not the actual medical fork one. What do you want, pal? Huh? A pink, a princess in a pink dress? I ain't see nothing like that, no. I don't remember a princess, probably. Um, why do you want this chick? Anyway, pal, you owe money? Or is she a girlfriend? Hey, I'm just trying to make sure that... Hey, what do you want? What do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off of it. I know you're a nosy book nerd. So... Don't play dumb with me. Peach needs to have... Peach needs to have a record for being kidnapped. Exactly how many Mario games are there? She gets kidnapped an awful lot. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now, I'm doing the asking. So be a good little student and tell us what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be right if I sat a little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you can make, little crump. We're on it. Uh, no! Step right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? <laughs> Out of me way, you scallywag. Move your ever-loving bones. <coughs> I want to talk to you. Blimey, a fight. Corkin. Hehe. <laughs> Ain't nothing so fuss watching a few blokes duke it out in broad daylight, eh? Am I right, mate? Maybe. Wait. Oh, I see two triangles on that corner. Okay. I thought that was like a Triforce reference. Yikes! I was in trouble over there. Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't know with other people's problems in this town if I have an extra life. Hey, I'm just gonna hide behind you. Like, I'd go anywhere with a smelly loser like you. Huh. Not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? God. It's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a taste of the old crumpa bomb. Well, we get into a fight already. Can't flee this fight. Oh, there goes my plan. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Hey, uh, I guess switch, right? Okay, well, I guess I'll jump on you for now. Sweet! You know that hurt. Wow. I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Hey, Purple Shell Queen, what's up? Why can't we have Brat Bombat with us? I don't know. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. <laughs> well, relaxing at the moment. Yeah, I'm playing this. Good thing Paper Mario ended there a couple of weeks ago. You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. F 
For a tutorial, you know what? Let's try the hammer. Hold left and release it when it lights up. And we're just gonna hammer him. You got nine star points, yay. So even the star points are different in this game. You did it, you did it, yes! And you got star points. Uh, what's that? That's what the, these little things are called. Star points. Or, or star points, yeah, we got nine of them. Can you give me the other 91? The star points you get will show up there. If you get 100 star points, you'll go up a level. So don't forget that, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Where the hell did all these people go? Punish him! Um... Quick! This way! <laughs> we even got out of that unscathed! Phew, what a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're out of here. Have fun. Buh. Huh? Stop! <laughs> you think, where did they go? <laughs> Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson. What are your minions? Is his name Johnson? You need a minion Johnson. Did you see them? Did anyone? Well, Johnson definitely never. Huh. Crude. Crud. They bolted. Well, I guess Johnson didn't do his job. Wow, mister. You totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. My name's Goom Bella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Oh, I'm just Mario's little friend, Mario. Mario? Wait, you mean, like, that famous guy? Wow! I can't believe I met you here! Anyway. Uh, cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? <laughs> the hell are they doing back there? Ooh. Me? Still a gun, bro. Oh, did the boss send his greetings? How does that road taste? Okay, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> Those jerks. We won't forget this. Like, what? They got background stuff like that now? <laughs> would have been hilarious if Goombella meets Goombario. Oh, yeah, that would be, though. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know this place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected, expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Uh, I'm looking for the same thing. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? It's just a map. Apparently she's interested in it. Oh my gosh! Is is that a map? You have got to tell me where you've got that. They probably would have ended up finding out whose uh, head bank damage do attack does more damage. Currently it's probably Goombario, considering he's up max level. Princess Peach? What? Great, hoogly boogly! 
If it isn't Master Mario! Oh, wait, sorry. Great Hoogly Boogly! If it isn't Master Mario! Nah, Toadsworth. Bit of a coincidence, bumping to one another in this sort of place, hmm? Huh? Oh ho! <coughs> so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to its wretched little burg? Oh, I just here to watch the background stuff go on. I mean, hmm, yeah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? She told you to meet you here in Rogueport? Hmm, intriguing. Yeah, you haven't seen her, have you? You asking me where Princess Peach is? Hmm, I was just about to ask you that. You know, maybe if you did your job and actually stayed closer to her, you wouldn't have any problems finding her. You stepped in this town to acquire a spar of fuel for a ship, don't you know? I only took my offer of her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Uh, surely. Yes, because you won't do nothing about it, Toadsworth. But I know my place, Master Mario. And this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your HP hair points ring low. Just drop on in. <laughs> yes, anyway. Little rest here will. <sighs> well, all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit. rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach? Did she mean, like, Peach? The Mushroom Kingdom Princess? Uh, yeah. The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser? The Koopa King? The one you rescue? Yep. Wait a sec. This is wild! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Mm-hmm. Whoa! This is really intense. Well, where do you think she could have gone? Then, do you think... Think you, you think maybe she got sick and waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Probably not. Oh, oh, oh! I know! Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great. Oh, well, good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella has joined your party. Alright, tell me all about yourself, Goombella. Goombella's abilities. A primer. When you approach people and objects, you may uh, see an icon X appear over Goombella's head. If that happens, you press X to learn more about the person or object. Press X to learn about that person. Okay. There's Goomther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Well, maybe he may have a better opportunity if he actually didn't get swindled or mugged. Duh, that's complaining about it. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and addresses. Press X to learn about a location. This is Volport Square. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroad where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you learn some interesting tidbits. Try to use an ability whenever you can. That concludes that little primer. Do you think you've mastered Gumbella's, uh, Gumbella's uh, abilities now? Yeah, I think I can get the hang of it. Of course, Gumbella can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump to attack with her head bonk, or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. 
just like Goombario in the first game. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. Uh, Frankly, that's an ugly looking Goomba. Oh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you feel lost and confused, try pressing ZL. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might uh, help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Stay in school, kids.